Kate. Hi, Alicia. I'm having a lot of trouble learning about glycolysis. Can you help me? As a matter of fact, I can, because I have this handy book called Glycolysis for Dummies. Let's start at the beginning. Glycolysis is an anaerobic process, meaning it doesn't require oxygen. It also takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. It requires burning two ATP molecules in order to produce its products. There are 10 steps in glycolysis and a bunch of different enzymes that play various roles throughout the different stages. The net result of glycolysis is two molecules of ATP, two molecules of peruvic acid, two molecules of water, and two molecules of NADH. So, glycolysis is a six carbon molecule, as you can see here. Glycolysis, or glucose, also contains hydrogen and some oxygen molecules as well. The first step in glycolysis happens when an enzyme called hexokinase acts on the glucose molecule to add two phosphorus molecules to the very end, as seen here. The result is a six carbon sugar molecule, now called fructose. It is important to notice that phosphate have been added to the molecular equation. These phosphates will continue to be shuffled around as enzymes act on the various uh, glucose molecules. Oh, so when we go from this stage to this stage, two ADP are used. Well, actually, two ATP are used in order to produce two ADP. Oh. The next step is called sugar cleavage. An enzyme called aldolase comes along and the six carbon sugar molecule is split into two separate molecules. These sugars are isomers. They contain the same molecules, but the arrangement of the molecules is different. This one you can see is on top and this one is on bottom. This is important to note because the different molecules will be acted on or react differently to the enzymes that continue to break down the glucose molecule. Next, the NADH comes along and rearranges the way our three carbon sugar molecules are sharing electrons. The NADH, or the NAD plus, becomes NADH, an electron donor. More enzymes come along and perform their magic. More phosphate molecules are shuffled around. The result of the sugar oxidization process is two NAD+, two H2O, two molecules of peruvic acid, and four ATP molecules. And that is how you end up with the products of glycolysis. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. That helps a lot. Ha <laughs>